live from the Key TV studio to your TV and on the web, it's Homework Hotline. Go to homeworkhotline.tv to ask your math or science questions. Hi, welcome to Homework Hotline. My name is Dan Schofield. I teach science at St. Bernard's Academy. And I'm Alicia Simone, and I teach speech at Alice Bernie. So, um, Alicia and I are here to answer your science and math questions. If you are just struggling with a math and science question, or you've got homework, and you want to get help with it, please tune in at homeworkhotline.tv, and you can watch the live stream and type in your questions on that. Um, and we will attempt to answer them. Do our best. <laughs> uh, I've got some stuff to show you, some sciencey things with dry ice, and um, but we'll, before we do that, I think Alicia has. Let's start with a little math. Okay. You have a little. We have a problem up here on the board today. Um, so the first thing I think this this one doesn't work very well. I'm using orange because it's festive. It's also Halloween. Yeah. Close to Halloween. Halloween time. Um, we're going to choose a variable instead of drawing these out like we do our equations. So we'll say burger will be B, pizza, P, and taco will be T. So when I'm looking at this, I'm just going to write it out real quick in our, um, with our variables so that it's easier to see. So we have B times B times B equals taco. Can't really do much with that right now. Um, we have P times P times P equals 27. P times B times P equals 18. And T plus Whoa, yes. T plus T equals what? So I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little box around this one because this is gonna be the end. But we can't really do anything with that right now. So what we want to do is figure out which one's going to be the easiest to solve. And this one we have no actual number, so you can't solve that one yet, not for a, an actual amount. Down here we have one variable and a number, so we're going to do it there. So p to the third power, because it's p times p times p, equals 27. In order to get the answer, you're going to do the cube root of each side. Cube root. And so the best way to do this for kids that are learning how to do it is to break this down into the smallest numbers you can. So 27 uh, is 3 times 9. 9 would be 3 times 3. So you have three threes. So the cubed root is just going to be 3. So P equals 3. And we have 1. I find that it's always good to, when you're doing math problems and you have a big mess of work, it's always a good idea to circle or square your answers. I know a lot of kids, when they're having trouble and they don't have the right answer, their teacher gets lost in their work and it get, makes it difficult to figure out where you went wrong. So it's a good habit. Try it. All right, so we have our pizza. We're going to come back to this one because we have the pizza and burger. So we have a value to plug in for that. So 3 times B times P equals 18. Oops, but I don't want a P because I know that value. I'm going to put in a 3. 3 times 3 is 9 times B equals 18. You're going to divide by... 9 on each side so that you can get the b by itself divided by 9 b equals 2 so b equals 2 all right now for our last one we have b to the third so 2 to the third equals t 
B is 2, so it's 2 times 2 times 2, which would be 8 equals T. So we have all of our variables now, and we just have to solve the last problem. Uh, equals 8. So we have taco, which is 8 plus 8 plus 8 equals what? And I think they try to trick you because we've been doing cubes and cube roots, but this is addition for this. So it's going to be 24. So that is our problem on the bottom, our tricky problem. Yeah, and congratulations. Oh, somebody congratulations answered to Chow. Yay. Who, who got 24 about three minutes into it, or less than awesome. that, I think, or two minutes into it. So yeah. Good like job, Chow. Like 24 is correct. To, the point, or yes. to show the different aspects, but yay. Right. So we, are, we have people on the live stream. Again, if you, want, you have math questions or science questions, we will try to answer them. Um, just, just ask on the live stream. Uh, I wanted to show some things because we are kind of close to Halloween, and, it's, and a lot of people will... A lot of people, some people at least I know, like to play <laughs> around with dry ice because it gets kind of, it's, it's spooky. It makes, it yeah. looks like smoke coming out. Uh, and so this is dry ice. I've got it in, you can get it in chunks. The place I got it from makes it in pellets. And so it's just a couple pellets of dry ice. I'll put them on the table. And Hear what's nice, what's kind of fun about dry ice is it does, it's, if you, one of the things, you could, it's, it's a solid, but it's solid carbon dioxide. And so it's solid carbon dioxide. And so at our, at our temperature and pressure on, on the planet's surface, um, it's, you don't really get a liquid carbon dioxide. You have to pressurize it to get liquid ca carbon dioxide. And so it goes, it goes right from solid to gas. And uh, that process is called sublimation. A couple things you can do with it is I can take a quarter and Well, that and is and a terrible sound. It's a terrible sound. And because of the transfer of, uh, of the, way, the way heat goes, it's taking the heat right out of this quarter. And if you, if you feel the quarter. Ooh, it's, it's even like got a little frost on it. Right, and so this is, a, uh, it's very cold. Um, the, um, the temperature of sublimation is negative 109 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 78 and a half centigrade. So it's super cold. And so you definitely want to handle this with equipment, use gloves to handle it. It is, it is considered a, it's not, it's considered a hazardous material, but it's not because it's going to dissolve Hence something. The tongs. Um, it's bec and because carbon dioxide um, isn't toxic. It's just, um, it's just very cold. And so you can actually get frostbite from it just by handling it. And so it's like burning your hands, but like with cold. And they do that intentionally sometimes for warts and things like that at the no, doctor. They that's use right. The dry they, ice. they will use the dry ice. The dry ice gets used by um, ice cream places as well to keep things cold as well. But um, you can get it in a few places. This place I got it as pellet form. And so you can do a lot of things with it because it, one of the things is make it that fun noise. Isn't that a great noise? This is really terrible. It's really terrible. It sounds like a dying animal a little bit. You Mixed with nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> you could shoot <laughs> it shooting off. Um, it's super fun if you put it with, with I pour water in here and I can do that and then throw it in the water because that'll, that'll make it. Is it going to scream? That'll make it s go and uh, turn into a gas faster. So just throw it into there. Then it starts bubbling up and you can. This looks is like why. like a witch's brew. Looks like a witch's brew. And so that's why we, we see it on Halloween. So I can just put a bunch in there. Ooh. And if you really want to get creative, you can throw it into your colored water too. Make it look like a, you know. <laughs> is it expensive? Because now I want some for home. It, you know, it's about, it's a place I got it for selling it for $2 a pound. That's not bad. That's not bad. So all. do you have to stir it to get the color to come? Will the color come out? Um, I, I, the color won't typically come out. This is just colored water. It's mm -hmm. just for, for the fun of it. Um, and it's now pouring all over the desktop. And so you can, you can do quite a bit with that. Um, so it's just like a low fog. And you can see that the carbon dioxide is, has more density. It's one, one of the things that you could see about carbon dioxide is it has more density than the rest of the air. It's heavier, so it tends to go down. Um, and you can could, you could watch that. It's, just, it's flowing right off of the table because it's denser than the, the uh, rest of the air around it. We do have carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Um, it's one of the issues that's going on right now about how much carbon dioxide we have in the atmosphere. Um, it's what's called a greenhouse gas. It makes the, um, it makes the Earth warmer than it would be without it. Um, 
So plant thank some trees. Well, <laughs> uh, thank goodness for the greenhouse effect because we would be frozen if it wasn't for the greenhouse effect. But it's just that we're tipping it a little bit too much lately, so it's getting a little too warm. Anyway, so as, as this cools off, um, you can see the production of the carbon dioxide is not, is not quite coming out as fast. But, um, and the water is getting really cold too. You can actually freeze your water with this. It will happen eventually and it will stop going because the water gets too cold and it won't do it anymore. Um, another really fun thing to do is not just not to use, um, not to use water. But and so in order to make the, the dry ice, then they have to make it super cold? Is that how they're? Well, there's a number of ways to make it. Um, you can blow, you can have liquefied carbon dioxide and then they, they'll just blast it out over some uh, collecting piece, like in this case where they ma were making pellets. Um, if you get, you can, you can, if you had a, sometimes carbon dioxide is used to in fire extinguishers and in, the, in a sense it's like blowing a fire extinguisher over a sheet or something like that and then it'll get dry ice forming on the end of it. Oh. Uh, but you can get, make it from liquid, liquid as well. I mean, it's not, it's not something you typically, it's a, more of an ad industrial process to do it. Okay. To get it. Um, now, what I wanted to show you also is this, is that you can also take it, this is for fun stuff, you can put it in the bubble solution. So is that just soapy water? Or? This is actually from, you can put it in soapy water, but this is actually um, stuff to blow bubbles with. So it's a little bit more oh. than that. And so that's fun. <laughs> it's a little thinner. It's a little thinner and then they start popping and then you have little, you have carbon dioxide bubbles and then you can. Oh, that's fun. You can pop them. That could be addictive. <laughs> oh, we have a question. Yeah, how okay. do they make dry ice um, was chow. Yeah, chow, how do they make dry ice? So um, it's, it's the place where I got it from makes it by, um, they have, they have, Carbon dioxide under a very high pressure. It's actually liquid carbon dioxide, and then I am not sure exactly what they're doing with it to make the dry ice. But I think they they blow it. They they have the liquidified dry uh, carbon dioxide go over um, a collection area, and then they they just they, they, then it precipitates out with as as a solid. Um, it's not something I think we could really do. Oh, at so home. as it condenses because it doesn't become a liquid, yeah. it just becomes a solid. It becomes instead. a solid. Yeah, but, okay. but they have it. And the, you make it at a really super high pressure, you can come in liquid. Um, okay. And so another thing you it's can too do. It's soapy this. now. Yeah, now it's not soap. Right. It's going to be a soapy pen. <laughs> um, <laughs> congratulations. That's what pants are for. <laughs> Good job. This is, um, like this is kind of fun to do, too, is that we can see. I can take I'm this. I'm going to back this up. Just Let's a move this smidge. out of the way so we don't have too much going on. Um, there's all kinds of stuff you can do with a. Um, with a, an aquarium or something like that, or, or a, a something like one, and a, just a surface like this. One of the things I wanted to show is, is if I take this and I light a match in here, and may light a candle and put it inside the, the this little aquarium or terrarium. And I have a candle inside here. I'm going to light myself on fire. Let's avoid that if possible. Okay, so it's the candle's in there nicely, right? But if I go and put, let's watch what happens to the candle if I put some dry ice in here. And we can speed it up a little bit by pouring just a little bit of water in here. I'm not pouring water on the candle. I'm just pouring water on the dry ice. Slowly but surely, we'll see. I'm thinking this would be a great thing to put around your yard with, like, in your wet grass. Yeah. Oh. So the candle went out. And, and that reason is because candles need oxygen to stay on fire. And um, carbon dioxide does not keep the fire lit. So, in fact, carbon dioxide is used in fire extinguisher. So um, what we're slowly getting here is a layer of dry ice inside this container. And so you can fill this up with the dry ice and pour a little more water on it and watch it slowly fill our larger container, which is fun. And once we get a layer of it, and it's, after a little bit, you, it'll settle and you won't see 
the smoke anymore, it just, but it's just still there, it's still sitting in this container. Um, with you can make a kind of a more advanced type of science project is you can make a cloud chamber with this, um, with uh, this kind of setup, and you actually can, if you set it up right, you can actually see subatomic particles flying, like making little vapor trails through the um, through the carbon dioxide and so the dry ice bits. And so this it is a you know is a project that you can make. Um, just you know, look up how to do it. Um, it actually works. Um, yeah. But what I wanted to show you with this is that all this is settling, right? It's all settling um, kind of on the bottom. And like I was saying, it's nice dense. Nice and creepy. Nice and creepy. It's, nice, it's denser than the rest of the air. And if we do it just right, you can tend to get a bubble to float. If I can blow a bubble. Oh, there we go. We got floating bubbles in the, what's right? I've got another one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Toy Story. Oh, am I not allowed to say that on air? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. But you see, the bubbles are floating because carbon Ooh. dioxide is denser than air, so it's it's just floating just a little above it. Sometimes it's a weird angle to get in there. It is. <laughs> Yours at least got inside. I'm slightly vertically impaired, so it makes it more difficult. No, that's perfect. There we go. You got another question? Can dry ice react with other li liquids like tea and coffee? Can dry ice um, react with other tea and liquids? Okay, so dry ice is, is uh, solid carbon dioxide. And uh, carbon dioxide can actually um, mix with water. It does mix with water quite readily. I mean, there's a lot, I mean, a lot of carbon dioxide gets in water, um, it, turns, it turns into something called carbonic acid. In carbon dioxide in water is carbonic acid, and so uh, it turns the pH slightly, slightly lower. So you could mix, mix it with, that, that's this great, the, the suspended uh, bubbles are pretty good right now. But it's, it's the bubbles are there because they're, they're sitting on a layer of carbon dioxide that's formed underneath them. Um, maybe I can w maybe we can get the bubble to rise a little bit by making it more carbon dioxide below it. Let's see if we can do that. Why does white smoke occur after pouring water on the dry ice? That's actually um, a little bit of water vapor forming. It's not the carbon. It's water vapor is forming from the water. I uh, was going to ask that yeah. as well. It's, uh, That's a good question. Yeah, it is a good question because um, the, uh, the water is actually condensing. Um, around it because it's so cold. That's why that's happening. That is, so as the level of carbon dioxide is going up, it's getting thicker and thicker. I was wondering if I just left some of this in my lawn, if it would do the white smoke, but it's not gonna work unless my grass is wet, right? Yeah, I would think so. I just have to spray down my lawn a little. Yeah, I mean, because so I just put the, I just put the carbon dioxide sitting out on the table. It doesn't, it doesn't smoke as much, but it does, it does, this is actually water vapor water coming from around it. It's so cold. Yeah, from the air. Mm, that yeah. makes sense. Um, so. We're getting some good questions. Yes, we are. Okay, and one, okay, I want to show another thing too. While we're waiting, while we're having the, bub the, the bubbles float, let's do another one here. I'm going to make some, I'll make a cup of carbon dioxide. Oh, there, that one's floating nice. Nice, nice. And okay, <laughs> I love how the bubbles move when I push that over. <laughs> <laughs> they played; they stayed pretty stationary in inside. There. If there's a little bit of Newton's laws there, I think. All right, so let's do this. So we've got a nice amount of carbon dioxide coming out of there, and let's. I'm going to play with this candle again. Let's move this like this, so I have a little bit more space. So the candle is. Um, <laughs> otherwise, I don't think I'll be able to light this candle. <laughs> oh, there's too much carbon dioxide. Too much carbon dioxide around it. I like how it pushes out and it almost gives like a rippling effect <laughs> as it's falling off the cup. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Here's my candle. And let's go way up here and see how far down I can get the carbon, how, I mean, in a way you can see that it's, f the, the carbon dioxide is flowing down. Mm. 
There it goes. You poured it right on. Poured top. it right on. So it is. Uh, it, it is another kind of fluid that's going through the air, and it's obviously denser than the rest of the air, and it, it puts out the it puts out the candle by doing that. So again, hmm. um, in order for in order for the candle to work, it's got to be um, it's got to be able to uh, to put it out. Oh, I <laughs> thought I was going to make it right in there. I <laughs> it popped though. That shot back in my face. <laughs> okay, another thing you can do is, and, and this is, try your luck with this one. This doesn't always work, but it is fun when it does. Um, I'm going to use a cloth, and I'm going to soak it with, and I've already done some, I'm going to take a cloth or take a paper towel and soak it with, um, soak it with some bubble soap, and then you can go like this. So I'm soaking it with bubble soap. Then I'm going to put some carbon doc carbon <laughs> some dry ice in a cup, another cup, and put a little water in there so I get it to start forming. And this is where it's a little tricky. I got it to work a few times, but it doesn't always work, but it's great when it does. And then what you do is you wipe the rim of the cup with your bubble soap. And then if you do it just right, if I put this right on the edge and pull it off, I can make a little globe on it. Nope. I'm going to try this about three times and I'm going to stop because it works a little better with glass, but it was working a little bit better. I could just, I think it's just too much carbon dioxide coming out of there. It's coming out too fast right now. It's popping it too soon. But the idea is to make a little bubble. No? There's lots of sounds. <laughs> yeah. I'll set that there. You can just kind of see it in inflating. No. No, it's not. It's not a dome of it. A little, a little uh, glass, glass dome of it. Hmm. That's cool. And again, um, now we have this nice layer of carbon dioxide in there. And so we can just, you can still, you can kind of see how big, big it is. Yeah, it's, it's way up there now. Oof. Got stuff on my mouth. And then let's do this. Let's see how much carbon dioxide is in that, in that aquarium. See, let's see if we can put out two candles. With it's, and it's completely clear. We don't even see it now, right? You're just letting the gas out. But I just, it's gas? almost at the top. I just, just oh, wow. this invisible, invisible gas went and I poured it out and it just put out the candles. Okay. Any more questions from the? We just got one. Um, how is the creation of white smoke applied in daily life? For my purposes, it was just to be creepy in my front yard for Halloween. But what else? Creepiness is good. <laughs> Creepiness, is there <laughs> anything else? And somebody else asked, why do you have to blow bubbles inside the tank? And I think we were just blowing bubbles in there so that you could see that there was a layer of carbon dioxide and the bubbles were floating on top of that. Right. Normally, the bubble would go straight down. I mean, if I blow a bubble over mm -hmm. here, it's just going to go right down at the, well, we'll see. It's going to go right down at the table, right? Right, right down to the table by blow bubble in the tank. Well, not well as much. Well, now there's not. He poured it all out. Well, no, it's still. He ruined it. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a punch. It's still a punch in there. Just kidding. Well, we're almost done, but I had, a, I had a pumpkin joke real quick before we leave. The question is, what do you get if you divide the circumference of a pumpkin by its diameter? What do you get? What do you get? And if you put the formulas up here, so our circumference is equal to 2 pi times radius. And it said divide it by the diameter, which is 2 pi. No, 2 r. Huh. If you're dividing this, you're going to cancel your r's and your 2's. So your answer is pumpkin pie. <laughs> <laughs> 
So dry ice is really fun. Lots of things you can do with it. You can, you can ma it makes noise when you take it out. Actually, even if the, the tongs, but you definitely want to use, um, you definitely need to be safe with it because it's super cold. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. You definitely get adult supervision if you do, if you do play with it. Probably don't um, let you buy it, do they? Well, you know, they don't. I don't think you have to be an adult to get it. We'll so. see you next Tuesday. Thanks for watching the Hotline. Right. Bye now. Bye.